Hello friends and family and welcome to the 2021 Delaware Disc Golf Challenge driven by Innova. We're here at the Iron Hill Disc Golf Course. This is part of the PDGA National Tour Series. I'm Holly Finley. And I am Rebecca Cox. And we're here to bring you the Back Nine coverage sponsored by Infinite Discs. Hello foresty friends. We've got the FPO Chase card. And in case you forgot, we have Michelle Frazier with Team Millennium, Solid Putter, Solid Scrambler, just solid. And Margaret Sassaman, my first time seeing her play, and boy, does she have a lot of power. Deanne Carey with Team Innova. And of course, Heather Young with Team Prodigy. Seeing all kinds of different shots. Through the front nine, I believe Heather is under par, so pretty solid. Here we are moving on to hole 10, another par five, 675 feet, and we have a extremely left curving shot here. Um, the righty backhand is gonna try and throw a hyzer, land around this area where all the um, wood logs were. And the upshot, I mean, it really depends on where you land. You don't wanna be on either side of the fairway. It's really about staying clean. We've also got some OB long and right, but that doesn't really come into play. Heather's been pulling out a lot of forehands today. I didn't know, but she has like a 300 foot forehand. Mm -hmm. Let's get over quickly. And what you don't want to do is hyzer to left and be in the brush there. So Michelle and Heather are both in good positions. Needs to get left. Yeah, oh, that was forward good. forward a little too much, but yeah, he got a good kick. It's a little bit wide. That's the thing too about the hyzer on this hole. You, it needs to be really tight around that corner. Anything too wide in your, I mean, not too far from the tee pad. Deanne having to put a lot on that shot just to get out of the woods. Ooh, Margaret's in a good position to give it a full send. Oh, and that's two left. You don't want to do that. Yeah, early release from Margaret. She's not going to like that. It's going to be tough to get to the green from where she's mm -hmm. at. And Heather, come on back. Ooh, she'll be on the edge. Yeah, I'm not sure what she's throwing, but it's something that it's, it's very stable and she's able to put a lot of angle on it because that seems to be most of her shots here. Oh, that was, oh, oh, look at this. Okay. Well, thank the you. The trees were like, all right, fine. Well, that was so I'm nice. Give you a little something. Flatten out. <laughs> she surprised herself with that. <laughs> but she's pretty far down there for a second shot. Yeah. Deanne with her Bushnell rangefinder. Go, go, go. Ooh, mm. that's good. Yeah, she'll be outside circle too, but she's looking at the basket. Margaret, there is a little walking path there, so she might have sort of an open area to pitch out from. Oh. Uh. And that'll work. Since this is a yeah. par five, you sort of get a mess up shot freebie. I don't think she got the angle quite right there, but that's within her range. Another forehand from Michelle. 
bit nose up, it's gonna land on the right side. Whoa. Mm. Oh, that was helpful. That was very helpful. That worked out. Oh, she was giving it a little run. Yeah, that was nice and floaty. Come on, come on. Mm. <laughs> Koozied. Yeah, those koozies are cute until your disc hits one and rolls away. <laughs> Then you're like, who put these there? Right. Man, Michelle just makes putting look too easy. I know. It's like... <laughs> just walk up to it and putt, Holly. Man. Clearly, that's all we need to do. So smooth. The end with the solid bogey putt. Yep, you get off the fairway and these bogeys come easy. Here we are, hole 11, par four at 475 feet. They give you a little fairway to work with here. You sort of follow the walking path you can go between these trees, but a lot of people just choose the shorter shot. If you want to push it, you can get down here and have an easy upshot into the green and get yourself a birdie three. Yep, it's a par four and it's only 475, so you cut it into little chunks, you know, it's easier than trying to get as much distance as possible. Hmm. gonna have some trees in the way but miss that I love the way Michelle works those blizzard katanas and you can just see the torque and the power mm -hmm. that Michelle has I'm sorry Margaret say. has as she just turns that disc over Mm -mm. Deanne a bit offline there. Yeah, it'll still be a little bit of a haul, but it seems she might have a line. Oh, oh that's that shaping up so nice. Good. good around that. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, Deanne. Yes. She'll have She'll a circle have... two look. Yep. That's well in Deanne range. Hmm. I was not expecting that. Thought she might try to go down the left side. And me too. But that should be an easy par from from there. Heather's drive. Go go. Well within Heather range. Michelle going up the left side. Beautiful upshot. Hmm. Not quite the right angle on that one. I like that she's not laying those up, though. Oh, yeah. Mm. Just a bit short. A great birdie putt from Michelle.
Yeah, the OB here doesn't really come into play much either. I don't even think about it. Yeah, I don't, I'm not even sure why it's OB, honestly. Because I haven't seen it come into play a single time. Level 12, 300 feet, par 3. Tight, straight line here. The basket is downhill, but you want to give this a good bit of height because of all the rocks that are in the fairway. Um, there's also a bunch of skinny trees that you can hit and kick. There's the OB road on the right that does come into play. Um, as you can see, these large rocks right before the basket, but once you get past it, there's really not a lot of rocks, and that downhill slope comes into play because these discs can pick up an edge easily and just roll away. Blizzard Katana off the tee for Michelle Frazier. That's a great shot. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. She's staring right at it. That's a great wow. shot. The course has been really friendly this weekend. Oh, I love the shape of that shot from Heather. She'll have a putt at it for yeah. Birdie as well. I mean, half a foot higher, higher and she would have been parked, I think. Margaret gives it the height, but not enough power to turn over enough. She's going to be way uphill looking down at this thing, which is a scary putt, honestly. Oh, this is tasty. This is Deanne's Star Mako 3. Oh my gosh. Look at that. If tasty, you don't own a Mako, tasty. please go get one. And the 3, is that flatter or domier? They come out both ways. Okay. <laughs> yep. That happens. You throw your disc and you're like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. I use the OG Mako, which is before they made the Mako 3. I prefer those over the 3, but they're hard to find now. Oh. Michelle with kind of an awkward putt. But she's yes. so close. Yes, I love getting this birdie. Yeah, me too. Margaret for a par. Here we go. Don't like seeing rollaways on this hole, so I'm glad everyone managed to stay clean here. And Deanne with basically a drop in birdie. I you mean, couldn't ask perfect. for anything better. Mm -hmm. Smart that she threw mid range too, so it, it's less likely to have a lot of action when it hits the ground. That's a Mako for you. Hole 13, 360 feet, also a downhill hole. On the right, there's out of bounds and an alternative pin placement with a basket in a tree. It's very cool, uh, but we're not playing that for the tournament. You want your shot to go straight and then have a lazy hyzer finish. Often you find yourself thinking you're about to get into the green and then these corner trees block your shot. I kind of feel like this is a bonus birdie. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's too low, I think. Oh, it's in. Oh, she's green. She'll have an Good. uphill putt at it. Heather with another forehand. Oh, this could shape up nice. Oh, yeah, that's stable. I think it's a bit short, but I th she might have an open look at it. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Oh, that's a little right side. Mm. Oh. And Margaret looks like it came out of the hand a bit earlier than intended. So she'll have some work to do. And it is so scrambly. I mean, at the top of this hill, it's really difficult to get yourself inside the green. 
Margaret will be on the left side, so she might have a hyzer at least. If you're on the right, you're tough, but on the left, you at least have some hyzer look at it. Whew. Yeah, that wasn't an easy upshot by any means. Go. Okay. Just the sound of the discs hitting the rock hurts <laughs> my feels. Yeah. You don't want to throw anything you love too much out on this course. We'll lose some chunks out of it. Yeah, I felt that some of my go-tos were even starting to act a little flippier towards the end of the tournament just because of all the rocks they've been hitting. Yes, Whoa. Michelle Frazier from downtown. Ace Run Pro. Yeah, run that back. Wow. Mm -hmm. She's had a, a couple big putts, so good to see one land. We've already told y'all Michelle is an amazing putter. <laughs> If you didn't believe us, now you should. Yeah, they'll make us tell you again. <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> and Maggie with a nice bogey Super save. Super solid bogey putt there. She still had a bit of, you know, a bit of distance on that putt, so. Yeah, Deanne. That was a long bogey save, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes I feel on some of these holds, like, it, when you get off the fairway, you're like, okay, so now how do I save just a single bogey <laughs> from <Yes>. here? <laughs> you don't want to make it worse than a bogey. Yeah, you want to stop the bleeding, for sure. Well worded. Here we have hole 14, it is truly 330 feet, um, plays even a little tickle longer than that. Um, par 3, very straightforward, I mean the basket's right there. Um, as you can see it's kind of a tight gap here, um, especially with the distance that comes into mind. We've got some guardian trees as well as some rocks, roots, stumps, all kinds of stuff on the ground, so throwing something fast that'll skip is, it's just not the play here. Go, go, go. Is that that katana again? Yes, Michelle is oh showing us what is the play here. Showing you guys why she loves it so much. Just take a blizzard katana and get to the green, folks. Heather, I love that. She can t definitely take more advantage of the fairway with her backhand wow. being a lefty on this hole. That was impressive. Deanne will be a bit <clears throat> obstructed there on the right side. Man, so much power. And comes back that cleanly. Can get through that. Oh, beautiful. Man, I want to be past the basket on my drive. I haven't made it past the basket. <laughs> That's impressive. Oh, Deanne giving a little something-something there, it looked like. Heather Young for birdie. Mm, Just little a right bit side. off. Yeah. Michelle Frazier for birdie. Mm. Oh. And that just hurts my feels when you're that close and you don't get to take advantage of the opportunity. Oh. What's the matter, Basket? You're not hungry? Yeah. Deanne getting a par on hole 14. Heather taps out her par. 
as does Maggie. Scores can really shift around a lot out here at Iron Hill. Easily. Hole 15, par 3, it's 250, but it plays uphill. It's more like 280 to 300 feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, you really want to hit this gap. That's the number one most important thing. Then if you're feeling aggressive, just push it all the way up there. Try to get inside the circle and get yourself a birdie too. I feel like they designed it so here at the finish, there's a lot of more birdieable opportunities than mm -hmm. on the front. Yeah. And you know those little distance squares that you see in the fairway that tell you how far away you are? Yes. One of those squares is part of the tee pad and it says 300 right there. Ah. So that's a little hint. <laughs> this hole plays a little longer than it says. Mm. Heather is a bit too low, Just but a little bit. at least she hit the line. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the issues with this hole is finding a nose angle that won't hurt you. Because it's so elevated, everything is automatically going to fly just a little bit more stable because you're throwing so nose up. Go, go. Sit, sit. Yeah, that'll work. Mm -hmm. Should I have in the circle with the safe par? Heather, I think she's thrown more forehands than backhands. She has. Which surprises me because there's I feel like there's so many lefty lines at this course. Ooh, oh, Michelle I she had that. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, Margaret Sassaman, Ace Run Pro, run it back. Giving it that long hyzer putt. And it stands still. Yeah, she kind of gave it a little hop de doo but it didn't come off the ground. Like, really? So, so tasty. Wow. <laughs> oh man <laughs> that was fun to watch and Deanne with a nice putt for her part your soft little lofty putt I like it Michelle for par Hole 16, 485 feet, par 4, coming down the final stretch. This is another birdie birdieable hole. Excuse me. Um, right here is about the landing zone. You see that large stump in the fairway. Um, that's about where most people are landing, usually either left or right side of the fairway. Um, you don't want to be too far off the center because it gives you a kind of a weird angle to get to the basket, which is slightly elevated, um, but extremely rocky. I don't think she meant to throw it quite that far left. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, that one. That was rude. Oh, man. And automatic scrambling. Finally, Heather's going to throw a backhand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. oh. Come on. There you go, Deanne. I can imagine, even during my practice rounds, I was getting really tired down these last few holes, you know? And it's yes. hard to, like, stay true to your line. Yes. Es especially when all these holes demand that you do so. It's mentally and physically taxing. <laughs> it sure is. This course can take a toll on you. You're hiking a lot of hills, and it's a long walk. Yeah. And it's not an easy walk, either. Nope. You get tripped up a lot. No, oh, this looks good. Go, go, go. 
Oh, yeah. Well, that's what you're looking for. She'll have a good up and down from there. Go. Keep going. I just love watching the yes. disc float through all these trees. Deanne, I'm sure she's going to go for that. She has a long look. I love woods golf. Wow, Heather. Just giving it everything she has. Oh my gosh, that was so good. You're trusting those overstable discs to come back and just wham on it. Oh. Mm. That was an oh no right out of the hand. She knew it. Oh, here we go. Very well placed. Mm -hmm. Come on. I mean, at this point, I'm just expecting Michelle to throw yeah. it in. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, oh. valiant effort for yep. Deanne Carey. Beautiful Ooh. putt. Great par save from Heather. I mean, she hit her first variable and she got a par on this hole. She knows how to navigate the woods. You're right about that. Bogey She'll... tap in for Michelle. That yeah, was unique. She, she does that little turbo tap in when she gets like a certain distance. That makes sense. Close to the basket, yeah. Whatever gets the disc in the basket. Yeah, whatever works, works. Hole 17, a par five here at the finishing stretch. You can full send a drive as far as you possibly can. It's fairly open, even though it doesn't look that way on the drone footage. Your second shot can also be really aggressive, and you just want to get it as far as you can, hopefully making it somewhere near the mound. Get you a nice, easy upshot onto the top here, and maybe grab yourself a birdie four. And yeah. that is about as clean as it gets. Mm -hmm. Perfect execution from Margaret. Heather just zipping it up there. And there is a giant downed tree there that could make for a tricky second shot. Oh, come oh, on. Deanne. Mm, just a bit off. And that blizzard katana. Goodness gracious. Michelle got a full flight out of that. Misfire from Deanne. She's really in a position to send something. Go, go. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, still a bit of work to do, but she's up there. Now, here's that awkward tree I mentioned. Oh, is she going to do like an overhand? Oh, well, just a forehand. Go, go. Okay. You know, it was a little low, but it's fine, actually. It's in a good spot. Wow. Oh. Two full flights on this hole. I love it. Look how far up she got. And she, oh, goodness. Yeah, she's in birdie land for sure. A lot of power on this, but a bit low. That didn't have the height.
Looks like Heather mm. got tripped up on some rocks there, perhaps. Easy to do out here. And from this, Margaret could get it all the way to the top if she shapes it just right. Oh. So she'll be pinned deep in the woods. Let's go, Michelle. Get up there. Yes, oh, ma'am. Yes. Top shelf. Mm hmm. Ooh, I love that too. Yeah. Getting yourself on top up there feels so good. A little chip shot from Heather. Margaret, deep on the right side of the basket. It's pitching up. Yeah, good speed control on that. Shell for the bird. Let's yes. go. Michelle Frazier birdieing this difficult par five hole 17. Picture perfect. Looking to finish strong. Solid bogey putt from Deanne. Yeah, and Michelle was only one of three women to birdie that hole for the entire day. Katrina yeah. Allen and Stacy Ronsley were the other two. Impressive. Quite, quite impressive. On to our final hole, 580 feet, par four, the second most difficult hole, um, at least that's what round two says um, for round two. So this landing zone right here is about where you want to get to. Um, but honestly, putting yourself in a position for like a clean up shot to the basket is so, dis so difficult. Um, and of course, we have these guardian trees and that large rock right by the basket heavily guarded it's like the final boss i feel like you have you just have so much stuff to get through and it's throwing so much stuff at you just to get to it the final boss <laughs> <laughs> and there's that katana again that was beautiful i mean you couldn't ask for anything more uh she probably needed to turn that over a little bit more Roll out. Come on. Yeah, it was a decent roll, but... You really want to be in the fairway on this. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Heather will be in the fairway. No guarantee she has a, you know, a decent line to the basket, but that's the best place you can be is the fairway. Get through stuff. Deanne mm. yelling at it to miss it, but it doesn't, so... She'll have some work to do on the final stretch here. Sit. Come on, get up there. Oh, mm. no. Maggie hits a branch and gets a redirect back into the forest. Wow. Oh, let's go, Michelle Frazier. Look at this. What a perfect this. place to be on your drive. Ha, huh. two picture-perfect shots from Michelle. Oh. oh. Oh, look how stable it is, though. Yeah, she flipped that over more than she meant to, but... Yeah, still a bit of work to do. Get left. There you go. Oh. Roll! Yeah, you right. roll inside around that whisker. Clinging on to circle one. Oop. 
A little early release. That's okay. She'll have a putt at it. Mm-hmm. Skip over it. Oh, okay. Well, it's sad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tap in par, please. That's what I want on this hole. Maggie giving it a go here on her final putt. Deanne centering herself for this final putt. We all want to make that final putt, no matter where it's from. Beautiful. Nice. I mean, that was probably your best putt all day. That was a great putt. Yeah, way to finish with a strong putt. Heather for her par. Heather Young played really well out yeah, here today. Yeah, she's shooting the hot round for the day at two down. So fun watching her throw all those flexy forehands. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting as many forehands as I saw. Yep, and what a treat watching Margaret Sassaman play as well. Yeah, I love her power. Me too. That standstill is just... Mm. Great par from Michelle Frazier. Wow, what fun it was to watch these ladies slay the course. And we appreciate y'all tuning in at home to this round two back nine coverage of the 2021 Delaware Disc Golf Challenge. If you haven't liked, subscribed, or shared to the Ace Run Pro YouTube channel, please do that now. Now, while you're on the internet, go ahead and check out my Instagram at ofinalefinley. And mine, Rebecca R. Cox. And we hope to see you for the round three coverage.